Hello guys, hopefully everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing the concept of Hamiltonian circuit problem or we are going to calculate the Hamiltonian path also. So we are uh, going to calculate uh, Hamiltonian path as well. So what is Hamiltonian path? So the problem is uh, that there is a connected graph. Uh, connected graph is there and undirected graph as well. So uh, we have to calculate a path that processes from all vertices exactly once and there is a starting vertex and starting vertex and all the vertices are processed till you reach ending vertex which is actually your starting vertex. It means uh, you, your starting vertex is there and you have to traverse all vertices and you have to end also at starting vertex. So that path you have to actually find out. This is uh, known as Hamiltonian circuit problem. We have to find this Hamiltonian path. Now, if uh, we don't get the path, that means that is dead end for us. So it means you have to be very particular with the path that you are going to get. Let's take a particular problem. The problem is we have got A, then we have got B. So let's say A is our starting vertex. Then A is connected to D. Uh, A, okay, D is connected, let's say, to E and E is connected to F. B is also connected to F. Uh, A is connected to C. C is connected to D. C is connected to E also. And C is also connected to B. Now, what we have to do, we have to find an Hamiltonian path. So always start from starting vertex. Starting vertex is A. Now, the important point of a Hamiltonian circuit problem is we have to explore DFS. Uh, it, whatever depth we are going to explore, we have to explore the depth of it, right? So, we have got A. A is connected to uh, B. A is also connected to C. And A is also connected to D. Although we have written all the options, but we will explore only one depth altogether. So it means I'm going to check on A, A is connected to B. If I'm going with this particular path, I will explore this path only. A to B I have explored. Now B is connected to F and B is also connected to, now B is connected to F and B is also connected to C. So I'm writing C as well as F, but I will explore this path only. So I will explore this path. So C over here, C is connected to, D, okay, well, firstly, A is connected to B, B is connected to C. So, C is not explored yet. So, C is connected to B, uh, B, although we have already explored it over here. So, C is also connected to D. So, um, we have written that. C is also connected to E and C is also connected to B. B, we have already written. So, that's why we are not writing any other thing. So I'm exploring one path. I'm exploring A to B, B to C, C to D I have uh, explored. Then D is connected to E and D is connected to A. But if I write A over here, all the vertices are not explored. This will be our dead end. But D is definitely connected to E, which we have not uh, written in this path. So we have explored A, then B, C, D, E. All values, uh, almost all values are explored, but E is connected now, over here, guys, 
uh, E is definitely connected to F. We have explored all possible vertices. E is connected to C, but C is already written. So we are not writing it. So we have explored A, B, C, D, E and F. Now F is connected to B. B is already written above and F is connected to E. I cannot write anything else. So it means I did explore all the vertices, but not ending with A. So this is for us is dead end. It means this we are not ending with so this is primarily becomes our dead end so what we can do we can uh, we can backtrack we can go back to e e there is no other option we can backtrack to d d is connected to a as well as c i cannot go there why because i will not uh, be able to explore the certain thing so uh, i am backtracking over here I am backtracking towards C. C is connected to E. I can try this thing. A, B, C, E. And E is connected to, guys, E is connected to uh, D, for example. Uh, e is connected to F. Let's say I can try this all also. Uh, e is connected to D. D is connected to any, any other option that I want to see over here with the uh, d is connected to c already written d is connected to e already written no other option so this also becomes a dead end because i don't want to get to a so over here similarly a b c e f right so f is connected to b already written f is connected to e already written this is also a dead end so even this also did not give us the uh, options. Then I'm exploring again, going backtrack over here to B. So A is connected to B, B is connected to F. Let's explore this particular part to get the answer. So I'm exploring this part. A to B, we have written A, B to F, we have already written. Now F, F can be connected to E. I can write, I can, can write other options. F is connected to B and E. B is already written, so I have written E. E is connected to, now E is connected to various uh, other options. Uh, e is connected to C and E is also connected to D. So I can write E is connected to C and E is connected to F. Let's see uh, which option we will explore. We will option, explore this option. E is connected to C. And C is connected to D, I can write that. Although C is connected to E as well, but E you have already written. So C is connected to B is already written above. So I'm not other exploring other options. Uh, D, D is connected to, I have written A, B, F, C, E, D. And I have explored all things. A, B, C, D, E, F. Can I go to a from D, absolutely yes. So this is entirely our all path, Hamiltonian path, starting vertex A and your ending vertex is also A. This is known as your Hamiltonian path. So this is your solution also. So even uh, you, what you did, from there you actually backtrack, then you came over here again you have to do the backtrack and then you come over here with backtrack uh, then you got the answer this is known as Hamiltonian circuit problem so if you have any kind of doubt you can post it on comment section kindly like share and subscribe and kindly support us in this uh, this initiative it will be helpful thank you very very much